Charles, and this is the Traveling with Lucy and Fen Show. Speaking of friends, let's meet the first one. Come on, Oliver. Isn't he sweet? Good boy. Well, anyway, today we're going to be talking about Rhoda. It's a little small, so let's take a close-up. As you can see, Rhode Island isn't an actual island. There's two different theories to why it was named Rhode Island. The first one was that it was named after Red Island for its rich red clay soil. The second and most commonly believed theory was that it was found by explorer um, de Giovanni di Veranza. That's a mouthful. Com and he compared it to the size of Block Island to the Mediterranean island of Rhodes. Hey, let's see what my friend Detective Clue thinks about that. Hi, I'm Detective Clue, and I've got a mystery on my hands. It's how Rhode Island isn't an actual island. I'm the only one that can solve it now. See, here's the clues I got. Rhode Island was the 13th state to enter the Union on May 29th, 1790. But it's the smallest state in the USA. On the other hand, the population is 1,045,319. Rhode Island is These clues just don't add up. Hmm. Wait. Rhode Island is 5,545 square miles or 4,002 square kilometers. I think I've solved this mystery. Oh, hi there. I'm Tim the Miner. Ow. Well, <clears throat> so we're talking about Rhode Island, right? Well, I know that Rhode Island has a bunch of natural resources. Like granite, graphite, limestone, gravel. Did I say gravel? No. <laughs> Clams, scallops, lobster, and bucket loads of hope. It's even on their state flag. Right under the yellow anchor and the circle of stars. You know, well, it is their state motto. My motto is, it's okay to have your head in the clouds until you get hit by a bird. You know, Rhode Island's state bird is the red, Rhode Island red hen, and the state tree is the red maple. You know, Rhode Island's an awesome place to grow trees because it's just got, it's got that Atlantic Ocean right next to it, so it's got enough water for, for all the trees. And, you know, one of its nicknames is actually the Ocean State, which is pretty accurate. The other one's a little roady, which, if you don't understand, just think about it for a while. Well, it's time for me, um, me to clock out now, so, bye! Here, I got one. Hey, it's a striped bass. It's the Rhode Island state fish. You know, Rhode Island may be small, but it's got some big stars. You know, like uh, David Hartman, James Wood, Walt Whitman. Yeah, some biggies in Hollywood. But, uh, Probably should throw this guy back. You know, it'd be a dishonor to eat him, so. Hello, I'm Sarah Palin. Are we talking about the cute little state Rhode Island? I think I can see it from my house. I love to visit it every time I can when my career allows it. 
that Providence is the state capital. I also know that in the 1800s, there was these things called Newport mansions that New Yorkers would come build and use them as summer homes. And another thing I know is that it has other attractions like Block Island, Cliff Walk, and the Williams Memorial. It also has a bunch of major cities like East Providence, North Providence, Pawtucket, and Providence, the state capital, who has a bunch of museums and a lot of fun places to visit. And remember, remember Rhode Island and remember to vote Palin 2014. And, uh, well, that's all for today in Rhode Island. Well, till next time, maybe. And remember, it's a big world out there, so lots of places to travel. Who knows where we're going? Anyway, so, bye!